Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So today we will discuss about one more concept in discrete mathematics that is a graph coloring. So the name itself indicates we have to consider one graph and we have to color that graph. So coloring that graph means we have to color that graph vertices. Right? Yes. So we know that a graph means a vertices and the edges. Right? So it may be the directed or uh, undirected or cyclic or acyclic, whatever it may be. But we have to color that graph. So we have to give coloring for all the vertices of the graph and with one condition that is no two adjacent, I mean no two adjacent vertices should be colored with the same color. Okay, we have to color the vertices so that adjacent vertices should not be having the same color. So for example, let us consider any two regions or three regions. Uh, see, this is some region and uh, this is some region. Right? So we are having some regions. This is a R1 and R2 and R3. Right? So if you color this all regions with a single color, we are unable to identify the boundaries of these regions. So example, you can go with the districts in a state. So we know that a state will be having a multiple districts or a country will be having a different states. So in order to differentiate one state with another state, so no two adjacent states should be filled with a similar color. So if you fill the same color for the adjacent states, automatically we can't identify the regions. That means we can't identify the boundaries of that particular regions. The same thing happens here also. So these are three regions. In order to identify the, uh, I mean, the boundaries of that region, we have to color with a different colors. Okay. So if you color these two with a similar color, if you can't able to know this is the end of this region and this is the starting of this region. So graph coloring problem means coloring the graph coloring the graph with the multiple colors multiple colors such that no two adjacent nodes adjacent vertices filled with similar color similar color so how to choose the color means that's completely depends upon your user so we can take any color right for example let us take a graph this one okay consider vertices as regions or some states so in our example okay some states so if you color this A with one color, the adjacent nodes B should not be filled with the same color. Similarly, C should not be filled with the same color. For example, if A is filled with a green, if A is filled with green, so B is an adjacent to A and C is also adjacent to A. So B and C should not fill with the green. So we have to select one more color. For example, if you color B with a blue, okay, and A with a green. So you can see A and B are the adjacents, both are filled with the different colors. So what about the C? So we can't fill C with green because adjacent we are having green and also blue because C is adjacent is also filled with blue. So I will go with the red, you can go with the red, any other color, any color, red, blue, black, yellow, whatever it may be, any color. But we have to check this particular condition. No two adjacent vertices filled with a similar color. Okay, so here how many colors it requires? So, so colors required to fill this particular graph is it three colors? Okay, for example, let us move on with the next one. 
another example so if you are filling the color the graph with three colors that is called as a three coloring graph okay three coloring graph so for example let us take a one more uh, graph so how many regions are there how many states are there here four states are there so we need to differentiate each and other right for example start with a so blindly you can go with the trial and error method so you can fill first fill one vertex with any color so i will fill the a with the red color so that we can't fill b with red b with red okay so because adjacent of a are b and d so b should not be filled with red d should not be filled with red i'll go with a b here i'll fill this blue i mean uh, vertex b with a green color so what adjacent vertices of b are a and c a should not be filled with green so okay a is filled with red there is no problem now c should not be filled with green c should not be filled with green so what about c filling with red yes c can be filled with red because adjacent nodes are b and d b is filled with green so c can be filled with red then what about d d adjacent red and also red so it can be filled with green so you can observe previously we are having only three vertices but we require three colors to fill that graph but here we are having the four vertices but still we are having we we, we required only two colors to fill the graph okay so it doesn't mean that only we have to take this red and green you can also go with the blue c fill with the blue and d fill with the yellow this is also correct no problem but here problem is we have to use a minimum number of colors to fill the graph okay that's a constraint okay the minimum number of colors so this is also correct because a is filled with red the adjacent node b is filled with green and adjacent node uh, a, a d is filled with yellow yes so b adjacent nodes a and c filled with red and blue other than green c adjacent nodes b and d filled with green and yellow other than blue and d adjacent nodes a and c filled with red and blue other than yellow so this is also correct but the main constraint is we have to use a minimum number of colors to color the graph that is important okay so now it's required only two colors see if you fill c with the red and uh, d with the green it requires only two colors right so that is the main thing right yes so hope you understood this one and let us move on with a one more example um i'll take a b c d e f a so let us take this graph so how many vertices there are six vertices that means in our example let us consider if you consider this as a map uh, these are all states there are some six states and we need to color these states right so the constraint is no two adjacent vertices should be filled with similar color as well as we require a minimum number of colors to fill this one so by trial and error method i'll fill this a with red what are the adjacent nodes b and f so b and f should not be filled with red so b should be filled with any other color i'll go with the green green so now you can observe adjacent nodes of b is a which is red and also c c c, c, c should not be filled with green one second i'll go with the red let us take only two colors right now right so let us solve it next d so d adjacent is red so i'll fill d with the green and e i'll fill with the red okay f i'll fill with the green you can observe here a adjacent nodes are b and f which are not filled with red yes correct b adjacent nodes are a and c which are not filled with green yes correct d adjacent nodes are c and e which are not filled with green yes e adjacent nodes are d and f which are not filled with red f adjacent nodes are a and e which are not filled with green so this is correct 
So how many number of colors required for the for coloring this particular graph is only two colors. Okay, so we have to start with filling with one color and just by trial and error method we have to fill all the vertices with the different colors and also two constraints once again i'm repeating one is no two adjacent vertices should be filled with similar color as well as second point it requires i mean we have to choose a minimum number of colors to color the graph so that is called the graph coloring so if one if two colors are required to color the graph that is called a two color two color graph if if three colors are required that is it is called a three color graph if four colors are required to color the complete graph it is a four color graph similarly n color graph n color graph means n number of colors are required to fill the graph right so i hope you understood this is a very 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 simple concept and uh, i think all of you have understood this one and if you are having any doubts regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much